when we did the video on uh, copying your slides, I pointed out in, uh, at one point that I would show you how it looks on the computer and then neglected to actually do it. So I'm here with my computer. Uh, we're running a little screen capture on it, which I've never done before, but hopefully it will work out. And I just want to run through in Capture 1, not QuickTime Player, Capture 112, uh, just how I deal with the photographs. And so what I've got in front of you, or you see here, is a, is a, is a fairly overexposed image. And this is when I was talking about getting the slide uh, correct. This, I think, is, uh, well, definitely overexposed. There's another shot that I took a little bit less. That one's darker and that one's darker still. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that the, uh, in fact, actually, there's another one there, uh, that, first off, when I was talking about uh, focusing, if you go to the brightest image, and I click on my corner there, you can see that each of the corners is not necessarily tack sharp, because I probably don't have too much sharpening turned on, but they're definitely in focus. And then, of course, you see the image itself is well, it is what it is. Um, it's a photograph from a Halloween dance back 25 years ago. So getting the exposure correct, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, if you look in here, um, you know, in that white, you can see at the top, top middle of the screen, there's 255, 254, 250, 254, which is going to be, that, that's white with no detail. So what we want is we want something down about here where you've got, you've got some, it's bright white, but it's not uh, clipping, such as it is. So, um, so then what I would do, in fact, actually, it, it is actually this simple. Uh, go over and you click on the auto adjustments, and it takes it pretty close to where it needs to be. I mean, I, I may be a little bit contrasty, um, but really, when it comes down to it, that's, that's looking pretty good. Um, I mean, you know, I mean, for, you know for, for, what, for what the image is. And, uh, um, you know, and then that's sort of, you know, and so you just flag it as a, you know, a five, whoops, that's not what I want to do, not 50 contrast. I want to click on this image here, and my, my capture one skills are rudimentary at best. Um, so another photograph here, this is my younger daughter and my wife uh, from many years ago, uh, and you can sort of see just sort of a bit of a tail chasing exercise trying to get things where we wanted them. Um, and again, looking at the corners, nice and sharp. And uh, this is when you're talking about white balance. That, I think, is the white balance that came off the image, uh, came off the slide, or not the slide, the flash. And that is the white balance after correcting it. I think I took a white point off the side of the refrigerator there um, in the cabin. So, you know, I'm not sure which one is more pleasing from white balance point of view, but definitely the second image here is, is, is better from a, um, uh, just from a, purely from a, uh, from a coloring point of view. So I'll mark that one as a five star one. Let's see what else we've got here. This is me chasing my tail, getting things focused properly. That's uh, me chasing my tail, getting uh, the image the right brightness. And uh, of course, once you get it all set up, then it's actually pretty good. So here's, here's one uh, of my, uh, a couple of my, one of my kids and a couple of my nieces. Um, so it was there, but if you click on auto, it actually gets it pretty close. I think that, I can't help but wonder if maybe the white balance needs to move. That's not it. I don't want that green. Actually, well, hmm. See, this is the problem is that things tend to be, like, it's, it's pretty green, but it actually, you know, it might actually be correct. It's difficult to, to um, you know, when you look at that, you think, well, it actually doesn't look too bad. But I wouldn't mind maybe not quite so much green, you know, something like that, and that might be better. And then a little bit brighter on the exposure, contrast, brightness, uh, everything looks pretty good. And I'll mark that one as five stars. So just, so there's three images that we have. Um, five stars, uh, make a TIFF, bring it to output, uh, Adobe Photoshop, and process summary, we'll process them out. And I'm not quite sure why my brightness just went dark. Here we are in Photoshop. What's going on? Is that QuickTime Player? Photoshop. Hmm. Hello. Uh, so anyway, so I've got a crop set up here. And so I just go in and I just crop it so that we lose the outside edge of the slide. and. I don't want to lose those toes down in the middle of the frame because that would be that would be bad form. 
something kind of like that. And then image size, width 2100 pixels, height 1400 pixels, uh, filter, sharpen, smart sharpen. A little bit, not a lot, just enough to kind of take the edge off, something like that. And then save on the desktop as a JPEG. And that's it, that's all you do. You send it around and show it to all your friends. Um, back to capture one for a second. I didn't have my, uh, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that guy, uh, I might as well export that. Process, doing its thing. But basically the idea is that all you want to do is you just want to straighten them out, crop off the, um, the outside edge of the frame, and make them into a JPEG. Um, oops. That's not what I want. Mm. And I find that it's sometimes cropping is not such a bad thing. So often the edges of the frame are not that attractive anyway. So there we go. Image, image size 2100 pixels by 1400 pixels. Filter smart sharpen is probably going to get us pretty close. And save as a JPEG, just like that. Okay, and done. So, um, so yeah. So basically, you know what I find in, in when I was talking about in um, uh, with the images themselves, getting close in uh, Capture One. So I scroll through a whole bunch of other images here. Let's see if I can find something like this. Um, it's pretty magenta. This is, this is your, your typical um, Kodachrome image. And even with uh, auto corrections, it's, it's, it's close, but not, not that good. So we just grab the white balance, try and find something white that we can balance off of. There we go, off the toe of her shoe. Um, so it's looking, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's not, not a very good photo, um, but it's neutral, which is good. And, um, you know, we could increase the contrast a little bit and maybe bring the brightness up a bit. But, you know, that's kind of about all you're gonna get out of that one, I think. Um, and uh, there's a lot of images like that where you just kind of have to shrug and, ad, you know, admit that, that um, so I'm scrolling through some of the other ones here, uh, admit that there really isn't too, too much you can do uh, other than, than just, um, you know, get them, get them pretty close. I mean, something like this is actually quite cute. and. Uh, and thankfully the tonality on this one or the color on this one is, is pretty much bang on. If we hit auto correct, eh, it doesn't really do too much, which is, you know, which is pretty good. But then, but that's, you know, that, that's, that's where, it, where it is. And so you just crop the image out and uh, get them up so people can see them. I mean, this, this little girl here is 16 now, something like that. So, and I bet you the family's never even seen this photo. So um, it's my niece. And so it's always kind of fun to, uh, to dredge these things out of the darkness and to show them, uh, to, you know, to show the light of day. This is my older daughter digging, you know, a decade or more ago. And, uh, and although she'd be horrified by this photo, and I'm putting it on the internet, of course, um, she still, you know, is, uh, it's always kind of fun to show these images and, and to have an opportunity to, you know, relive um, the summer of 2009, I think, a while ago. So, uh, so yeah, so that's what we do um, in Photoshop. Uh, anyway, uh, we're not Photoshop. Uh, this is what we do in terms of copying the slides. So uh, thanks for watching. Any questions? Uh, as I said before, I don't really have too much on the go these days, so feel free to ask. Thanks.